simulation-based training has evolved from pretty much the 50s. It was a military product first, then it went into commercial aviation, and finally moved into business aviation. Al Yulchi founded Flight Safety in the early 50s. And what he learned from the very successful business model is that you can leverage training, you can leverage a program uh, based on simulation technology, and you can replicate that program in any center anywhere in the world. The experiences in, uh, in simulator training in the aviation industry easily transition into the medical field. There's a different client, a different student that we're teaching, but the idea is the same. Let's put them in emergency situations and watch them address those emergency situations and teach them how to properly do it prior to them actually going live and it happening to them during the surgery or a flight, as in the case of the autopilot. What we want to do is to spend our time creating an individual who, in a course of a year, will be able to do 1,500 or 2,000 surgeries. We're not training ophthalmologists. We're training a specialist to do one procedure and do one procedure really, really, really well. I think with the, the program that, that we're building, uh, help me see in this product will literally save millions of people's sight. I think that simulation training is the future for the medical industry. I believe that it's going to have a huge impact. This has never been built before. Nobody's even attempted to build anything like this. And when we pull it off, this could be terrific for blind people, but also terrific for medicine to be able to actually, in a virtual reality, work on people without having to hurt them. And I think the, you know, the technology that we've come up with today is absolutely incredible. I mean, it's absolutely at the, the cutting edge of technology.